So you must be Brian. I am, sir. The hotelier and the 34-year-old. I do it all. You do it all. Is that what you are, seriously, 34? Right. You know what? I'm 33. I work so hard, I think I just thought I was 34. You're 33. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, did you call this building the Caribbean? Yes. Have you ever been to the Caribbean? Yeah. Which part? Uh, the Bahamas. And this has been modeled on the Bahamas? Correct. Do you smoke when you're in the Bahamas? You know, like that. I've tried a couple times, surely. Okay. Stop. Yeah, yeah. No, what hotel in the Caribbean or the Bahamas were you running before you bought this one? So I've just visited the Caribbean. I've never ran a hotel in the Caribbean. So you just go buy yourself a 25-bedroom hotel on the beach with a bar and... All I know how to do is run a fish market when I open this, and I've built it from the scratch, from the ground up. So the fish is fresh, obviously from the market. They're so fresh. Right. I better jump in. Table for you right here. Excellent, thank you. May I? Uh, please. I'm excited for the fresh fish. It's so surreal, bro. Gordon Reeves in the dining room. What's with the name tags? I mean, you're the owner, right? I think I should lead by example, so I, I, I like to wear mine. That way, if I tell them that they need to wear them, then they can't say, well, Brian, you don't wear yours. Right. I'm starving. I'm going to get you some food I'm right starving. away. I'm going to get you a great server. OK, great. How, how are you? How are you doing? Nice Good. to see you. Well, Likewise. My name is Kelly. Kelly, how long have you been here? Um, I've been here about a year. Nice. Mm -hmm. And um, why do the staff have to buy the T-shirts? Um, I don't know. I was never told. Even our first shirts, our name tags. You buy your name tag as well? Yeah. We have to pay like $8. Never and seen then, that before. <laughs> $8 a name tag, $12 a T-shirt. That's $20 before we come to fucking work. Wow. Mm -hmm. As I look at the menu, I notice it's absolutely massive. So I decided to order the chicken wings, which honestly, I wasn't surprised when they were dry. Then I had the lobster mac and cheese, which technically isn't mac and cheese because they use penne pasta. But the worst part of my lunch was the tuna burger, which I knew wasn't quite right. Is that fresh? It is frozen. Oh, it's frozen? Yes. Hold on, you said fish market, fresh fish daily. Frozen fish, fresh fish, what's going on? We use frozen sometimes, sure. And you have a fish market that you buy from? Yeah, yep, yeah. Um, I'm confused. Ever since about four months ago, everything was fresh, everything. I ran up a little bit of a bill with my brother. So we cut back and started ordering some of the frozen stuff from some of the purveyors. And what's the feedback? We get some negative feedback. He hasn't had one nice thing to say. I know, it's a blow to the ego, but you knew it was going to be something. I think it was going to be everything. Um, explain this monstrosity. What in the fuck is going on here? This is our kiosk. Kiosk. An effort to have products for right. all sorts of people. So beach volleyballs, towels, volleyballs, uh, uh, bean bags, shirts, sick bags. How, how busy is this? How was it going? I honestly, uh, it doesn't do that good. How many beach towels have you sold? Not too many beach towels. All right. Show me one. All right. Uh, back. Okay. I'd love to see one, please. What a fucking disaster. We're on the beach and we don't have towels. What is wrong with this picture? Ah, I thought we lost you. Thank you very much. Whenever you're ready to go to the beach. Whenever I'm ready to go to the beach. Wow. How many do you have in stock? One. 